Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show y'all a few products that I've been loving lately. All the products that I've bought recently, I'd like to think that they're hits, at least in my opinion. So I think I'm just going to call this video something like August favourites or something. I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. But if you're interested in like looking for some new skincare type, makeup type, beauty products or so, this is the video for you and I'm just going to share my opinions with y'all. So if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and press that red button down there. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start off with some nice skincare products. My last video that I did was reviewing the CeraVe Blemish Control range. So it's only right that we start off with that. So I've got the cleanser here. <laughs> Let me turn it around. The CeraVe Blemish Control Cleanser. And then I've also got the Blemish Control Gel. So, let's start off with the gel. I've been loving this because, to be fair, it's got lots of active ingredients in there that I'm already, like, in love with and that I already use. So it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got niacinamide, and I believe it's got lactic acid as well. So it's just got, basically, AHA and BHAs in it combined. It's nice. I think this is a great product to start off with if you're someone that's just starting to incorporate like serums and active ingredients in their skincare routine so at first i use this so to cleanse and then i go ahead with this to like follow up as like a little after treatment and so far i think that they've been working really well i am currently wearing some makeup but i will see if i can insert a picture somewhere of my skin so y'all can see what it's been looking like recently whilst i've been using these two and then basically same goes for the cleanser it's got all of the ingredients that i've just said that this had so it's got niacinamide it's got hyaluronic acids this one's got salicylic acid as well it's for blemish prone skin have i seen some improvement so now i've been using it for maybe three weeks i can say that i have seen some improvement so that is good and yeah i just really love the cleanser like the consistency of it it's just nice i use this at night and then i use another sour cleanser in the morning so yeah i definitely recommend y'all check this out it's quite affordable as well i picked it up from boots not much else to say about that so let's keep it skincare um the next few products that i've been using i have also been really loving and it's kind of surprising. I found this on TikTok. One of my friends has sent it to me. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to try it out. Because to be fair, it's quite affordable. And it's basically the Boots Vitamin C range. This was the first one that I got. So it's the Boots Vitamin C Brightening Sleep Mask. So this is the one that I use overnight. So like at night time after I do my skincare routine and then I go to sleep. And then this one is the Boots Vitamin C Brightening Moisturising Cream. And then I use this in the morning. So I don't know if y'all will be able to tell, but this is a daytime one. It's got like a bit of a yellow tinge to it. I don't think the camera is going to be picking it up very well. And then this is the nighttime one which doesn't have a tinge, it's literally just pure white. This one I'd say has a more like runny texture, so the nighttime one is more like runny than the daytime one. And this one also has more slip, but guys, these are literally four pounds a pot and you get 50 mils in both of them. But to be fair, I've had the sleep mask for well over two months now. I think I bought it at the beginning of June and then I've had this one for maybe like three weeks or a month maybe three weeks and honestly I cannot complain when I wake up after having the vitamin c overnight sleep mask my skin is like it's great it's just chef's kiss like it's popping but this one it also gives you like a nice brighter look like during the daytime so I definitely recommend that as winter's coming on, you know, your skin might become more dehydrated. Definitely check these out and see if you can add it to your skincare routine. I will do like a whole little skincare routine on this rain in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. 
and i think this is the final skincare product but i also mentioned this in my previous video but it had to make this video because to be fair it's it's, it's making sense this it's really making sense so this is a simple revitalizing eye roll-on and like i said to you guys in a previous video sometimes i realize that i have really puffy under eyes and sometimes it gets worse depending on like my schedule and like how much sleep i'm getting so if i'm doing loads of night shifts not getting much sleep the eyes like they're looking puffy but i've been using this i'm gonna show you all so it's just like this little silver bullet dot thing. It's like a roll-on thing. And then you can just roll it. I'm just going to roll it on my hands, not my eyes at the moment. Because like I said, I wear makeup. And it just gives you like a little bit of a serum type moisturizer thing. So I just put that under my eyes. Usually I do it like when I finish my skincare routine and I'm doing like skin prep. I'd tone and then I'd put this on. And then I'd go ahead and do everything else. And yeah, I have been seeing some improvements. So my eyes are no longer as puffy and the bags are not like as bad. Obviously you can't see it right now because I'm wearing makeup. And hopefully I've got like enough coverage. But I definitely think if you're somebody that struggles with puffy under eyes or a lack of sleep or you just need a quick fix, this will do the trick. I got this from Saver. It was like £1.65 or something like that. It was relatively cheap. But then this in boots was like three pounds something so i don't know if it was on sale at savers when i bought it but you get 15 ml and i've had this for three weeks maybe and i've been using it morning and night and there's still loads left in there so that's that that's all the skincare products and now we're gonna move on to something different so let's go to like beauty type products. i'm going to go on to this little product here and it's the ultraviolet SPF 50 sheen screen. So it's basically a hydrating lip balm. And it's like a rose colour, like a pinky shade. The reason why I said let me add this to the video was because when I went camping a few weeks ago, I came back and I realised, okay, now the sun was hot. So <laughs> let's just let's just say that. And I did spend a lot of time in the sun. But my lips basically weren't black like i don't know what was happening i don't know if i was dehydrated or if my lips just caught a tan or what i don't know but my lips just started going black and it was having a mare but i was using this maybe not as much i think i was just using vaseline whilst i was at camp and then i used this like here and there but i followed up with this like a week after and my lips have pretty much returned to what they look like yeah i definitely recommend if you're going out in the sun for ages get something with spf because if you're like a person of color then it might happen to you obviously we're going into winter now but it's still good to keep your lips hydrated throughout the winter okay guys but yeah it's got a nice little pink tint to it and you can see right now because i'm wearing it it's nothing too heavy and nothing too fancy if you know me i don't like things that are like heavily pigmented or that will make my lips feel dry. I just like to be moisturised, okay? You should too. I'm not going to gatekeep, guys, okay? I'm not going to gatekeep. Yes, my skin is massively improving. But sometimes your girl likes a little bit of coverage, okay? Like when I'm filming, when I'm going out. I'm not, I won't say like I'm a makeup girly. But I'm definitely getting into that like phase where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to try this product out. And yeah, I think I'm in that phase and I'm here for it. So I decided to try out the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I've got mine in the shade MD5 Marquee. I don't know if I'm saying that properly but let me put it here so y'all can see. But that's basically the shade. I've been using it like a lot during the summer just to like pat here and there and I've been loving it. So this I'd say for me, for somebody that doesn't have like lots of pimples out, like I, I wouldn't say I struggle with pimples because I feel like I know how to get rid of them. So for somebody that just needs coverage for the hyperpigmentation and like dark marks and scars, this does well for me because you can build it up and it does give me enough coverage. And the other thing is that it looks like skin, like it looks like skin so long as you blend it properly and i'm gonna say i'm not somebody that's like a makeup pro i wouldn't say i know what i'm doing when it comes to makeup i just put it on and hope for the best 
but it just it leaves your skin looking great and so many people compliment me when i use this foundation so it's definitely making sense and i've been loving it like it's just simple to use i don't feel like it dries my skin out i feel like it does give me that nice healthy glow i don't need to wear like excess highlighter or nothing i just put this on and that's it i went and got my shade matched so it was like really close i was like on a borderline of two shades but they told me to go for this so i went for this and obviously i probably did catch a tan in summer but i'm still wearing this one i didn't mix it with anything i have tried out a few other foundations but this i've been loving it and seeing as we're talking about makeup i'm just gonna go in and talk about these makeup brushes because these are basically the everyday like type makeup brushes from real techniques i wanted to try out makeup with makeup brushes because i've always been using like a beauty blender for the longest times like since i can remember and why did nobody tell me that makeup brushes are like the vibe obviously mine are dirty now i need to clean them but the bottom line is why didn't nobody stress like it just it just looks so much better with a brush than it does with a sponge well not all the time but i did find that my makeup did go on better with these brushes than with a sponge i think these are good for like if you're a beginner like me just trying to try it out these were inexpensive i think i got them from boots or super drug for like a really affordable price they were only like 15 pounds or 20 pounds i got them on sale these all came as part of like the everyday set and it also had a beauty blender with it which is somewhere over there but i'm not gonna get it right now and yeah i've definitely been loving those as well you get four brushes and then the beauty blender so this one's like for powder or so if you want to do like any extra touch-ups or finishing um touches i use this one for foundation so like the main foundation then this one i think is for contour don't quote me on this and then this one's for like if you've got like eyeshadow i think which is probably why it's the one that is the least used so i definitely suggest you check it out they've also got like an eye set but i didn't get that one so that's the one i'm gonna grab next so yeah those are my products that i've been loving this summer this august i don't know if i'm gonna make this like a super regular thing like every month but i'm gonna try and do like faves and fails at different parts of the year let's just say that because honestly i buy way too much products to not like review them for you guys and come and share them with you so if you like videos like this make sure you check out the other one and yeah guys i hope you all enjoyed the video make sure you check out the last skincare routine where i reviewed these two products as well we'll link it above i hope to see y'all in my next video bye guys